the outstanding racehorse of his generation. He's an outstanding Australian colt. He's a Group 2 winner as a two-year-old, a multiple Group 1 winner as a three-year-old. The company he kept is quite outstanding, and that's, that's probably what defines him as well. He beat the likes of Chautauqua, Lankan Rupee, Terra Vista, Earthquake, Hallowed Crown, Hampton Court, Deep Field, Rich Enough, Ruby, and Wangina. I think it's fair to say that if you actually do want speed and you want juvenile speed, then you're not going to look any further than the great horse in front of us in Brazen Bay. Ladies and gentlemen, the second of our stallions to make his way through to the parade is Carosio. This horse is as precocious a racehorse as you can get. He epitomises exceed and excel blistering speed. He's a brilliant two-year-old, but it was his defining moment came at three, and at weight for aging McEwen Stakes, from a wide gate, he was simply too fast for the likes of Platelet, Moment and Chain, both group on winners. Our third stallion, ladies and gentlemen, the elder statesman here at Dali is the phenomenal racehorse and now vet phenomenal sire in reset. I think as stallions get older, it's always worth reminding ourselves what they did and what they achieved on the racetrack. And if you look at this horse, in his first and only preparation, he had five starts, five wins, including the Group 1 Futurity Weight for Age and the Group 1 Australian Years. He's a very versatile stallion, ladies and gentlemen. He has sired stage winners running from trips such as 1,100 metres all the way up to 2,800 metres. The outstandingly handsome, skilled joins us now, ladies and gentlemen. He's a Group 1 winning two-year-old, this bloke, and was very nearly a triple Group 1 winner. He won the Champagne Stakes, got beaten in those in the size and a head in the round with Guinea. He's a great looking horse, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you will agree. He's from a fabulous family. The family of the, uh, the freakishly talented race mare of Neville Beggs of yesteryear by the name of Emancipation is out of the Group 2 Sandown Guineas winning mare in Dexterous, who has in fact now got three Colts to start. And here in Australia, from, from a smallish first crop, he had 47 foals, 34 winners, 25, sorry, 34 runners, 25 winners, which 14 are city winners and 9 have won over 100,000. So if you put that simply, he gets you a city class horse or better. His most exciting horse here in Australia is the unbeaten glamour filly Petit Falou. And along with her, he's had horses of the class of the quarterback in Monday and O'Malley. He's a horse with a lovely pedigree. He's, um, it's from the great Fest in Show family, featuring the likes of Reduce, Choice, Hurricane Sky, El Maha, Zara and Umatilla. Looking at the Victorian standing ranks by state sources from those 2011 and 2012 crops. Doomsday with 14 leads, Witten Tycoon with 6, Reset with 4, Wanted 4, Turpentine 3, Magnus 2, Ballisbury 2, Artichilla 1 and Statue of Liberty 1. Tough, brilliant, on speed, made his own luck, all the qualities you want in the stallion. And then we look at his damn accessories, or she is the quintessential blue hen. Two multiple group one winning colts, standing at two different barley properties. I think ladies and gentlemen, we do use the phrase, perhaps a little too often, that a horse ticks all the boxes, but when you look at this horse, I'm sure that he does. He's got the physical type to make an outstanding sire, he's got a fabulous race record, he's by a champion sire, he's got an outstanding female family.